Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll be doing another Costco shop with me and haul. So if you're new here it would mean so much to me if you subscribe to my channel. And if you're wondering how this plant ended up in the basket and came home with me, listen I'm grown. I don't have to explain myself. I saw the plant. I wanted the plant. It was a good price. That's it. So before we get into the haul of this video, I do want to take you guys with me on this Costco trip. So let's go shopping at Costco. So when you walk into the warehouse, the first place I wanted to stop was at the clothing section, the coupon book that they had tons of cute things to choose from, including these sweaters. And then you guys, I saw the house plans and I could not help myself, okay? And of course, they were fully stocked with their essentials like toilet paper, tissues, and paper towels, which are always good. And they also had sanitizer too. Then I moved on to the kitchen area and I noticed that they had new oven mitts, which I am actually on the market for new oven mitts. So eventually those might come home with me. And you guys, these containers, this price is unbeatable. Like for all these kitchen containers, I could not believe that these prices were so reasonable. Even these Pyrex containers with the lids I noticed was in almost everyone's cart except mine and I also noticed that there were a bunch of these storage bins in multiple carts. I want to talk to you guys about are the must-have winter essentials like this entry mat, the shovel, you're going to notice windshield wipers. I don't know if you guys have ever gotten it from there, but we've gotten it there before. It was a really good price. They have lots of salt for you to choose from to keep everything safe outdoors. And the one thing that I needed was windshield wiper fluid. So I am just going to add this to my basket because I need it. And this is such a good value. I promise you guys should definitely give this a try. It's always in stock and always worth getting. So I noticed in the frozen food section that the salmon that I buy is actually going to be discontinued so I'm wondering what's going on with that. You guys, I also noticed for the first time that they have three options of vanilla. So are you team pure vanilla or are you team vanilla extract? So let's head home so I can share my grocery haul with you guys. All right, you guys, so we're back home. It's day two. I've got my receipt and I've got everything here laid out on the table to share this haul with you guys. But before we jump into this video, I do want to remind you, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. It really helps our channel grow. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like to see these Costco hauls. I've been getting a lot of feedback from these videos, so I do plan to do them monthly because we do go to Costco once a month. And this is just our array of items that will pretty much last us through the month some of them will be gone in a day a couple weeks <laughs> but for the most part these are the things that i like to get at costco and this just sort of helps me to stay on budget so if you don't know and you're new here to the channel we do have a monthly budget of 800 dollars just on groceries and we are a family of four living in canada so the price might seem high depending on where you live but where we live that's pretty pretty cheap because things cost a lot of money, you guys. And something that you're gonna notice in this video, which is a little bit different from the last video, is that I am reading ingredients a little bit more carefully. So some of these items are things that we haven't tried before, but I wanted to give it a try because it's a healthier alternative to what we were buying before. So without taking too long to get into this video, let's just get right to it. Okay, so for starters, we spent $443.38 on all this stuff. Something that we did get that's not here, and you would have seen it at the beginning of this video, is we did go ahead and buy windshield wiper fluid. It's a four pack, and I believe it's $12.99. It's honestly the best value that I've ever seen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start over here with the frozen stuff as usual. That way I can just hurry up and put it away and come back to finish the rest of the video. So the first thing I'm gonna share with you guys is that I got another package of sausages. I don't know if you can see, but yeah. These are the sausages, so this will pretty much separate into two or three separate meals for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and separate that before I head it over and put it in the deep freezer. And then another meat option that we got this month is this huge pack of pork chops. So for this, I can separate this probably into like five or six different dinner options, depending on how many is actually in here. 
And this is gonna go in the freezer as well. It'll be great for meals throughout the month. We also got a two pack of bacon. So this is just one pack. The other pack is in the freezer. The bag ripped open and I didn't feel like trying to, you know, get it all up here. But each pack has four. So we have a total of eight packages of bacon for the month. Now I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but we love bacon. And we won't eat all eight in the month. It's just last month we ran out way too soon and we don't want to repeat that problem again this month. Of course, I got my frozen pack of meatballs. This is the Kirkland brand. You'll see this in pretty much every haul because it's always going to come home with me. And just like last time, I got two packages of fish, the same kinds. I got the bassa and the rainbow trout and these are lifesavers and also very inexpensive a two kilogram bag of organic frozen strawberries so we can go ahead and use these for our smoothies we also got a four pack of the kirkland frozen cheese pizza last time we got pepperoni and my husband doesn't really like pepperoni so i was thinking of him this time when i got this and this will just be good to have for quick lunches or quick dinners throughout the month so every time I go to Costco, I always try to make sure I get at least one household item that usually lasts us a few months at a time. We got the huge pack of the Kirkland paper towel. This is the one that I've been getting for probably over eight years, honestly. One pack of this will last us like six months throughout the year. We don't really use paper towel often, but when we do, it's just good to always have on hand. And this is just going to go into our closet where I keep all our extra paper towels and things like that. So now we're moving on to just the produce items. We got a three pack of these English cucumbers, a double pack of the organic baby carrots, a three pound pack of red grapes, a two and a half kilogram box of honey crisp apples. These are our favorites. Two bunches of bananas. We also got an eight pack of Asian pears. These are by far my favorite pears of all times. Everyone in the house loves them. These are so delicious. If you've never had them before, what are you doing with your life? You must try Asian pears. Thank me later. You'll love it. You won't regret it. Trust me. Next, we're gonna move on to the dairy and bread stuff. We got a 40 pack of string cheese. This is the best pesto you'll ever have in your entire life. This is the Kirkland brand pesto that I get from Costco. It's 630 milliliters and I just tossed this in the freezer and thaw it out as I need it and it's always good. We got a huge thing of the Kirkland medium cheddar cheese. We haven't had this in a while so it was just about time for me to get this again. And just like last time we got a 24 pack of the Activia yogurt. For our breads we kept things pretty minimal this time. We got a pack of tortilla wraps, a double pack of of bread, a triple pack of garlic bread, which is a huge lifesaver. All right, so we're getting to the end now and I'm just gonna share with you guys the pantry type items that we got. A double pack of almond flour crackers. These are by Simple Mills. The ingredients are like the cleanest of clean. These are actually great for a recovering chipsaholic. If you love chips and you're trying to find something else that's salty and crunchy to hit that craving, Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. These are just a better alternative to your typical granola bars or Nutrigrain bars. A pack of Smart Sweets. Honestly, I guess it's Swedish Fish. My husband told me to pick this up. It was ridiculously expensive, ridiculously overpriced, but I guess it has better ingredients in there. I don't know, honestly, I didn't really check it out. For the kids, I got them organic raisins. This is a double pack and I've been wanting to get this for like years and I just haven't been buying raisins. So I'm glad that I finally bought raisins because it's such a quick little healthy snack and my kids are always hungry, you guys. So I'm always trying to find different snacks and treats that I can bring in the house that are a little bit healthier and it won't be the end of the world if they have too much of this. So it's just good to have. All right, you guys, so I have a little vanilla dilemma. I have been looking for really good vanilla extract to use for my baking. I've been using like the crappy stuff that's not even real vanilla, and I was just shocked at how much garbage was in there. So there were three options at Costco. There was like the, the brand that's like nothing good in there. There was this brand, which was the organic baker's flavored extract. So, I mean, I guess it's a little bit better because it's organic. This is what the packaging looks like, but I decided to go ahead and go with this one because there was a third option for real pure vanilla, but it was like $30 and I don't know, I just figured it would be better to try this first before I go ahead and get the expensive one. So wish me luck with this because <laughs> I really don't wanna have to buy $30 vanilla, but I will if this doesn't work out because it's too stressful. So comment down below. 
to let me know what kind of vanilla you like to buy, where you get it from, so I can just get some ideas. $30 is pretty steep, but if I have to, I guess I will. We got a double pack of natural peanut butter. This is the Kirkland brand. I really got this because the craft one that we always buy has really, really bad ingredients in there. It's my husband's favorite, but I'm hoping that he'll like this one. So I'll keep you guys updated on how this one goes. You guys, I always get Kirkland brand stuff because it's so good. And honestly, sometimes it's better than the actual brand name stuff. But I always get the Kirkland one just because it's cheaper than actual Nutella. And it's pretty much the same size bottle, but you just spend a little bit less. We were running low on my favorite oil to cook with, which is avocado oil. So I just picked up another one. This is by the brand Chosen Foods. It's honestly like best in class oil super good for you to cook with especially if you cook with oil so you guys should definitely check this out actually comment and let me know what kind of oil you like to cook with I know a lot of people do olive oil but try avocado and you'll never go back so before I left to go to Costco I asked the girls what they wanted me to bring back for them one of them said they wanted cranberry juice so I got a double pack of the Kirkland cranberry juice because we love cranberry juice and that was actually a great suggestion a huge jar of pickles the girls love this and this will not last a month because they're crazy over pickles I got a six pack of unsweetened plain applesauce in jars these are good to bake with and also to just have as late night snacks when the girls get hungry but it's bedtime so there you go you have a bonus mom tip on what to feed your kids if they get hungry right before bed this is a great great option also got a pack of these diced peaches in like the syrup or juice whatever it is honestly I know that this is absolutely horrible for you but everyone in the house loves it and you're only gonna be a kid once so this I'm sure it won't hurt them too bad as long as I try to do better with all the other items that we bring into this house. Then we got a 36 pack of these applesauce pouches. They didn't have the cups in the warehouse, which was a little bit confusing, but the girls haven't had pouches in a long time. So I know that they'll love this and it'll just make my life easier. Honestly, it'll be one less dish that I have to clean up later on. Who grew up eating Ritz crackers? I grew up eating Ritz crackers and I haven't bought them in probably like five years or more like honestly it's been so long so my husband told me that I should grab these and pick it up it'll just be a good crackers to have you know just anytime in the house it's just good to have so the last food item is just a double pack of these multi-grain Cheerios we were going through Cheerios super fast in January and I just don't want to run out for February so I just got more that way we can stock up on it and hopefully I won't have to get it next month. All right, you guys, so we're pretty much down to the very last item and the last thing that I got is a new plant, okay? And this was not on the list. Um, I forgot what this plant is called. It's called Anthurium. Um, this is the longest blooming plant, which is very true. These red blossoms last a really long time, but this is a high maintenance plant in terms of if you don't water it, you put ice, okay? This plant needs ice. And if you're wondering how this plant ended up in the basket and came home with me, listen, I'm grown. I don't have to explain myself. I saw the plant, I wanted the plant, it was a good price, that's it. All right, you guys, so we've come to the end of this haul. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos like this on my channel, again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe here if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.